Genip here from Team Paradigm, showing you guys my second PvP video gameplay. Again, I am running the one shot spec, I'll be doing some huge amounts of damage, just like this, steal in, 9.3k, job done. Again, shadow step, steal, 2100 range covered, 14.7k backstab, everything just drops. And this is the worst one, this guy's gonna be crying tomorrow guys, 16.3k, 6.8k heart seeker, that's crazy. Link to my build is in the description below. And now, for those who didn't watch the first video, this video revolves around weapon switching. So every time I switch my weapons, I get a sigil of superior intelligence and doom, which gives me 100% more crit chance on my next attack and 30% more damage on my next attack. Alongside this, I have assassin signet. So when I pop that, I do 150% more damage on my next attack. And all this just comes together for a big amount of damage, guys. Big amount. Now, I'll show you what I mean. This Necro here, he's not even that low, well he is, but he's still got a lot of HP. I hit him for 8.8k, I wasn't even behind him, and then I hit him for 7k Heart Seeker. That is some huge damage for spammer vulnerabilities, that Heart Seeker, that isn't aware. Now, because my stuff's on cooldown, I can't actually engage this fight, so I need to be careful, stay back, just wait for my cooldown, try to protect this guy. Let's see if it works. Nope, he's not managed to get away. So I just come in, spam those heart seekers, can't really do much else. But it doesn't seem to work, so I run away. My steel's coming back really soon. I'm getting some initiative. The more initiative I have, the more damage I do. And there we go, he's stomping him. I interrupt it, 9.3k, one bam, he's dead. And now I'm gonna rally this other guy by stomping. Instead of hit, this is a lot better instead of healing. Because if I was to heal, somebody might come and help him. Whereas, if I just stomp him, my ally will run you anyway, and he'll be dead for sure. Now if you look, there's three capture points. Two of them are mine. The hinge is just being contested right now. I'm wondering where all the other people are, because I can't see anybody. We just stomped two people. They should be coming back soon. So I do decide to go to the hinge, try to find some people. Oh, somebody's bleeding. I hope it's not too painful. Anyhow, now... I spot the ranger over there, he's engaged with my ranger, and now there should also be a necro there, yep, there the necro is, I decided to go for the necro, because the necro is a lot squishier, here comes some massive damage, bam, there we go, bam again, it's huge, he can't even survive that, that's what it is, I mean, what can he do, he must be so mad, I feel sorry for the guy, oops, I'm being targeted, I instantly shadow step out of that, I need to avoid taking as much damage as possible, because I can die in a knockdown, no problem, now, Look at this, looks like there's a fight going on over here, I do intercept it, I go for that ranger, start spamming those heart seekers, and just keep spamming it, keep spamming it, keep spamming it. Oh, I got chaos armor, because I combo blasted through an ethereal field from the mesmer. Now, I don't stomp him as usual, because I don't want to waste my time, I need to roam. When my stills are, when my stills are ready, I can do big damage, I can pull magic. It is magic tricks, but I can't see anybody. We only need 150 more points to win. I do decide to go for this warrior. I, I need to stop him from stomping. There we go. He's almost going to stomp, but nope. Big damage coming straight to him. He can't do anything to stop it. And there we go. All three capture points being contested. We just took the mid. Now we go for the ranger. But then it's like, I don't want to go on the ranger. Because my I just use my heal. I just use everything. i got to be a bit careful here because my skills are on cooldown. So now I'm looking to go back in. Oh wait, I just got instantly targeted by the Elnit, almost drop in about a second. I shall step in, shall step straight back out to remove the conditions and confuse him. Just remember that every time I use my shell step, within 5 seconds, I can use it to go to my original distance. And I, I got my still ready, so I, I actually opened this Elnit, even with 1k HP. I accidentally steal his earthquake, so it goes on a 4 second recharge. But then I, I use stealth to get back out. Probably not the best way to go, I probably should have went the other way, as he knew I went this way. So, I don't have anything, if all else fails, spam 2, and here it is, it's working. And there we go, he's down. Okay guys, there's no more footage from on. So thanks for watching, if you liked it, post a comment below, and cheerio.